quiz on orthographic projections. This quiz test contains 31 questions and at the end the answers are given. I would suggest that you take a pen and paper and try to write answers to each question asked. Some of the questions may require writing a few words or a sentence. So we will start now. Orthographic projection is also known as A. Axonometric projection B. Multiview projection C. Isometric projection or D. Normal projection In orthographic projection method, the line of projection known as projectors are always perpendicular to the plane of projection. A. True B. False In orthographic projection method, the top view of the object is projected on vertical plane and the front view is projected on the horizontal plane. A. True B. False In orthographic projection method, the object must always be placed between the observer and the plane of projection. A. True B. False Which of the below sequence represents the third angle projection system? A. Object Plane of projection Observer or B. Plane of projection, object, observer, or C. None of the above. Which statement below is true with orthographic projection method? A. It provides a way to represent a 3D solid object into a 2D surface. It provides a way to represent a 2D surface into a 3D solid. Both A and B are true. None of them is true. Two ways of placing the views in a drawing sheet are shown below. Which of the options given below provide the correct names of the presentation system shown above? A. One first angle projection system and two fourth angle projection system. B. One first angle projection system and two third angle projection system. C. One first angle projection system, two second angle projection system or D. One third angle projection system, two first angle projection system. Which of the below symbols represents the third angle projection system? A. 1 B. 2 C. None of the above The top view of a vertical line will always be a point shortened line line in its true length or D none of the above orthographic projections of a cylinder is given above what is one important mistake with this drawing a the projection system used is incorrect the dimensioning is wrong the reference line is too thin with respect to the outline the center line is missing. E. Top view is not dimensioned. If below circle is the top view of an object, then which of the three dimensioning methods is wrong? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 2 and 3 
orthographic projections of a cuboid object with rectangular slot are given in the third angle projection. Identify one major mistake with the top view. Please write your answer in few words. Orthographic projections of a point A is given in the first angle projection. Identify the mistake. Write your answer in few words. If a point lies in the HP, then its front view will always be A above the reference line, B on the reference line, C below the reference line. If a line segment is parallel to both HP and VP, then the top view and the front view of this line will be of true length. A true. B. False. Third angle projection of a point C is shown schematically in three dimensions with the horizontal and the vertical planes. In order to convert this 3D representation into 2D for the drawing sheet, which of the below is followed as per the engineering drawing convention? A. The VP is rotated clockwise. B. The VP is rotated anti-clockwise. C. The HP is rotated clockwise. D. The HP is rotated anti-clockwise. What would be the main problem in orthographic projections if we were going to use the second angle projection system following the technical drawing standards? A. The top view would be missing. B. The front view would be missing. C. The front view and the top view will appear together above the reference line. D. The front view and the top view will appear together below the reference line. What would be the main problem in orthographic projections if we were going to use the fourth angle projection system following the technical drawing standards? A. The top view would be missing. B. The front view would be missing. C. The front view and the top view will appear together above the reference line. Or D. The front view and the top view will appear together below the reference line. If a point lies in the horizontal plane at a distance from the vertical plane, its front view will lie on the reference line in both the first and third angle projection systems. A. True. B. False. What is the name of the plane which is perpendicular to both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane? A. Normal plane. B. Isometric plane. C. Side plane or D. Profile plane. If a line segment is making 45 degree angle with both the VP and the HP, then its projection on the profile plane will be projected length, B. True length, C. A point, D. None of the above. An oblique line is identified as a line which makes inclination angles with HP and VP other than 0 degree or 90 degree, B 45 degree, C 30 degree or 60 degree, D none of the above. Some of the inclination angles a line makes with the HP and VP will always be A 90 degree. B. 0 degree. C. Less than equal to 90 degree. Or D. 120 degree. The angle that the top view or the front view of an oblique line makes with the reference line will always be greater than the actual angles the line makes 
with the HP and the VP respectively. A true, B false. If a line segment is parallel to one of the principal planes, then the projected length of the line in that principal plane will be shorter than the true length, greater than the true length, C true length. What is an auxiliary plane? A. A plane that is parallel to any of the three principal planes. B. A plane that is not parallel to any of the principal planes. C. None of the above. An auxiliary view of an object is used if a feature of an object is not seen in its true shape in any of the three views. A. True. B. False. If a sectional view of an object is to be projected on an auxiliary plane, then the auxiliary planes should be A. Parallel to the section plane B. Perpendicular to the section plane C. Neither parallel nor perpendicular to the section plane The horizontal trace of a line is the point at which the line crosses the horizontal plane B. Vertical plane C. Both horizontal and vertical plane. In orthographic projections, the top, the front and the side views should be drawn with the help of A. Construction lines B. Center line C. Cutting plane line and D. Hatching lines A generator of a cone is a line connecting A. The center of the base to the apex of the cone The center of the base to any point on the circumference of the base C. The apex of the cone to any point on the circumference of the base of the cone D. None of the above